Hey guys, Matthew here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use an RSS feed to get instant updates from competitors, Shopify stores on the newest products they're adding. So this is an incredible method because it just automates the whole product research strategy. And before I get into the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this, guys, remember I give away a free 15-minute consulting call every single video, and all you gotta do to enter is like, comment, and subscribe. And the winner is right here, KB Official 82 or something like that. It's gonna be right here. So congratulations, contact me on Facebook, and and we'll set up a time where we can do that consulting call. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you four things in this video. And number one is going to be how to actually create the comma feed. Number two is going to be how to find competitors to actually put into comma feed to get updates from. Number three is gonna be how to check to see if these products have the potential to be winning product. And number four is gonna be a special gift I have for you guys as an appreciation. I'll be giving you guys 25 free websites that you can go input into comma feed without any research or anything like that that I'll be showing you in this video. All right guys, so creating your comma feed is really simple. All you gotta do is head on over to comma feed, uh, create a subscription folder for Shopify, and that's gonna be it. All you gotta do now is add the customer's websites. But first we gotta figure out how to find these websites. Now, luckily for us, every Shopify store is actually on myip.ms. They're on the exact same IP address. They're all hosted in Ottawa in Canada because that is where Shopify's headquarters are and that's where their servers are. So in the description, you guys can click on it and check out this website, myip.ms. And what this is gonna do is give us every single website and their Alexa rank, which is really important because that's gonna tell us whether they're winning Shopify stores or if they're loser Shopify stores. And what we're going to do is just copy their main domain. We're going to paste this after and put that into comma feed. And again, the free 25 Shopify stores that I found myself in myip.ms that aren't just some super fancy stores. They're actually well thought out drop shipping stores that you can definitely compete with. Even if you're just starting, you can go download that in the description below. It's free, very easy to use. And I've already added the collections. So all you got to do is copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Really easy stuff. I've made it really easy for you guys. All right. And the last thing I'm going to show you is whether these products are worth testing or not. So I'm gonna show you guys, you know, obviously we're gonna check the total number of AliExpress orders. We're gonna check the daily orders on the AliExpress dropshipping area, which I'll show you guys how to get to in just a minute. I'll show you guys how to check their Facebook account to see what ads they're running and if those ads are the same as the products they're adding. And finally, we're just gonna check Google Trends to see whether the trend is growing or not. All right guys, so let's get into it and head on over to a comma feed. So when you first get on comma feed, that is it. It's really simple, it's really basic. There is not a lot to it. And the first thing we're gonna do is just make a new category. And here you can just write drop shipping stores, right? So I've already done it here and here it is guys, that's it. So the next thing we're gonna do, like I've shown you, is we're gonna go to, to myip.ms. And the very first thing you're gonna notice is that I'm on page 107. So if you are between these pages, so one and 107, you're gonna be finding pretty credible Shopify stores that aren't drop shipping that we can't really compete with because they have their own products or they're like a retail e-commerce store. So they actually have like a brick and mortar and they're selling their own products. So we can't really compete with them that easily. And they're not gonna be really helpful for us to look at and take the products because we might not even be able to find the products that they're selling on their Shopify stores. So I've gone already right away to 107. I found this website here, uh, panda shopthepanda.com. And so what we're gonna do is just copy paste this right here. And you know, just to show you guys what I would do is actually right from this website, we can click this button here. It's gonna open up a different link. Oh, oh, it didn't, okay, it opened up in a new tab this time. And as we can see, right, it's it's pretty basic Shopify store. And if you have, I mean, this extension here, Commerce Inspector, you can actually see when their last product was added. So February 9th, uh, the theme is New Panda, and we can just get some basic info on them like that. Now, what we're gonna do is, like I've shown you guys, we're gonna copy this. We're gonna go back to Comma Feed. We're gonna subscribe. Oh, sorry. So this is obviously a pretty good Shopify store. If we go look at their products, okay, so it's kind of women's stuff, but as you can see, really nothing fancy here. These are all basic AliExpress pictures, nothing crazy here. Definitely something that we can do the same thing with. We could just take these exact same products or we can, you know, just get an idea of the kind of stuff that they're adding. So uh, for example, this right here, right? Again, I've seen all this stuff, this makeup bag, you've probably seen it yourself. So again, we're just gonna take this from collections. Don't bother copying the, the slash. We're gonna copy paste that we are going to go back to the description just copy that now this post that there and and if it's working it'll just come up with the feed name by itself so we're gonna hit save there and bam right away we actually have a whole feed of products so it's not fully updated as you can see the newest one is on the 5th of, of february but tomorrow it'll probably update no, so it's not fully updated yet but again we have 39 products to look through which are less than a month old now we can just go here click squeezy dough bag and we can head right there and actually see what the product is see how they have it all laid out and stuff so it's pretty nice it's a really nice website really clean really basic not even any reviews really no countdown timer 
or none of that BS and they have a really high Alexa rank, you know, 81,000th in Canada and 1 millionth in the world. And what we could do now is just head on over to AliExpress. So let me open up a new tab and we're going to start testing and checking out to see whether this product is a winning product or not. And I'm just curious to see how many orders uh, the top one has. So here's 146, not many at all. But what we can do is head on over all the way to the bottom of the page right here and we can look at from other sellers. And this is the easiest way of finding the one with the most orders because we probably don't have the right keyword here. But as you can see, we can yeah, nothing, nothing really. So 260 looks like the biggest one. So what we're going to do here is just copy paste, go to this page, copy this and over to this page right here. This is the product analysis page on the drop shipping search this. And as you can see, uh, it's not really doing that well, but we can do is just go back, hit on this one. Maybe this one's doing better. And basically what this is doing is just telling us how many orders this product has. And it's just an analyzer made by AliExpress itself. And you can actually just click on the link below and you can go register for this. It's free and you can just register with your Facebook account. I literally just made a new account registered with Facebook and it started working. All right. So this product obviously is not doing that well, but you know, if you see a product that has like a increasing slope and that's a good sign, obviously, but I'm not going to go through all their products. The next thing we can do is go to Google trends and write dough bag. And as you can see there, there will, there is an anticipated spike right here, which is good for us, but otherwise it's not that good. We can tell we should probably only target like, New York, Pennsylvania, California, and Texas for a product like this if we do decide to test it. And the last thing we're going to do here, open up a Facebook link and write shop. What is it? Shop the Panda. There it is. 66 likes. So they're obviously not doing a lot on Facebook, but they have such a high rank. It doesn't really matter. So I guess they're not really running any ads. But yeah, that's what I would do. So I would just go down to the bottom, head over to their Facebook account, click info and ads, see if they're running ads for any of the products that they added recently. And then that's going to tell you whether it's a good product or not. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Remember, you can go down to the link below where I have chosen, carefully chosen stores, 25 of them. Hey anyway, guys, I mean, that's how simple it is. I'll do all the work for you. All you got to do is go down on that link below and you can get it and start looking and using comma feed. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.